So, there is a serious confraternity problem in the city of Shagamong, right there in Ogun State. And information reaching me that this problem has led to the breaking down of more than 30 confraternity members in the city. And now, it has led to the bringing down of some vigilante members. Now, this is not the normal confraternity problem that people in Shagamu normally experience because on a norm, when there is a problem in Shagamu, it is often between black eyes and supreme Eye confraternity whenever you hear that there is a frat problem in Shagamu. But this is different. The problem is almost between the king of that city and the confraternity members of the city. In this video, I am going to explain to you according to what several members of confraternity in that community have explained. Most of them are saying the same thing, so I believe that they might be saying the truth. So I am going to explain to you what has been going on in Shagamo and how it has led to the bringing down of some vigilante members and some confraternity members to the extent that a lot of people have traveled out of the city because they don't want to lose their lives. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive into the video. So I want to quickly ask a question and I want you guys to put your answer in the comment section below. If you are a king in a community and the confraternity members keep fighting, killing themselves and you beg them to stop bringing themselves down, they will settle because you have asked for a peace talk and after two months, this young man will go back and start killing each other just because someone offended someone. You will call them and you will ask them to stop and they will stop and after two weeks, the confraternity will start again. As a king in that situation, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to go an extra mile to take a very drastic step or are you going to continue begging them? This is basically what happened in Shagamu. The cold war between Black Eyes and Supreme Eye Confraternity in the city of Shagamu has lasted for a very long time. Years now, and the community keep begging them to stop fighting. To the extent that the community involved Otmokbo sacrifices, there was a time, sometimes last year or two years ago, I really don't remember, they told people not to go out of their homes once it is 5 p.m. because they wanted to do a sacrifice to cleanse the land. There were too many people being brought down in that city in the war between Black Eyes and Supreme Eye Confraternity. So this continues and this young man will make peace, then we go back to start fighting again. To the extent that the leaders of these confraternities had to sign a treaty, make a voice message to their members that there will not be any war in the community again. And before you knew what was happening, after two months, they started fighting again. They even gave them money so that they should stop fighting. They begged this young man with money so that they should end the confraternity war. But the war still continues. So according to the confraternity members in the city, the king got fed up, he got tired of the whole thing, and he decided to invite the police. Now they said that the king gave an order that any confraternity member that is being caught should be killed at the spot. Now they are not going to arrest you, immediately they know that you are a frat member, they are bringing you down. These police officers that were sent to the city, they go around with vigilantes, and the vigilantes in the city are the one pointing the frat members to the officers. So what happens is that they'll come to your house, pick you, and you'll never return home again. They are not arresting you. They are just going to bring you down. And this has been going on in Shagamu for a very long time now, I think from November last year. So when the frat members noticed that this is getting worse, the mem both sides decided to write an apology letter to the king. They said they know that they have been very bad, that they are going to try their best to be good, that this confraternity war will never happen again. But the king rejected the apology. The king is very angry, according to them, and they keep bringing down confraternity members. Now, according to Ways on the Street, it is said that more than 15 AA members have been brought down and more than 10 black ass members have been brought down. This is according to Ways on the Street. 
And it is also said that two Bukania members have also been brought down. Now, Bukania members are angry because they say that they have not been involved in any war in Shagamo. They really don't know why the vigilantes also point them out that they are flat members. A lot of flat members have traveled out of the community, but on Saturday last week, not this Saturday, the Saturday of last week, this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen is said to have been taken away from his house and he was brought down. Now, this young man is said to be a member of Black Ass and a lot of people said he is among the people that normally call for peace talk whenever they raise a war in Shagamu. So after this young man was brought down on Saturday, the frat members in Shagamu said they have had enough, they have begged the king to forgive them and he seemingly rejected the apology because he is pissed and now the frat members have started fighting back. So this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen is said to have been brought down on Monday and they said that he is one of the vigilantes that is pointing out frat members to the police officers that are bringing people down. But some frat members in Shagamu have said that this young man is not even the one pointing people out. They said that he is the person that is bringing people down in Shagamu. They said he has brought down a lot of people and they said that they are not even willing to stop. If they catch you and they establish that you are a frat member, you are not going back home. And right now, the frat members are very angry, saying that what is going on in Shagamu is a very bad thing. So I want you guys to leave in the comment section what you think about this. Is it right for the king to order for them to bring his own subject down according to the frat members in the community? Or do you think that the king should have accepted the apologies that this young man made that it will not happen again? I really want to know what you guys think about this particular stuff. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.